and welcome to a new boot sale season 2023 this is my first boot sale of the year and it's going to just be a small one on this occasion because it's a new one that's just started down here should be opening in about 20 25 minutes before i get here early and i don't know i don't think it's gonna be very big but you never know maybe it will surprise me in fact if you look that way you probably can't see it but there they are i can only see about maybe 20 cars or something and stick around a little bit later on i'm gonna have a big channel update you don't want to miss that one so here it is just here pretty small right there is room for more cars and officially it doesn't open for another like half an hour well 20 minutes ish so you know maybe there'll be a few more people turning up I've got a few bits there, how much uh, are we yeah. talking, like? Right, that's like a that. quid. Okay. The PSP is working, it's got a game in it, that works fine, that one. I want a fiver for that one, and two quid for the cameras. Okay, I'll do that, so what's that? One, two, three, eight. Yeah, it's only a pound um, for that little man there, pound for that one, and that works as well. Nine, ten. ten. To save tenner then for everything. Tenner. Thank you. I'm going to keep looking now. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need to keep on looking. It's not even emptied. It's <laughs> not even emptied. They're back out properly. I'm glad it's there. Thank you. Thank you. Right, who's that? It's Woody. It's Woody. It's yeah, I'm not sure if that's it because it's like that's a cigarette charger, isn't it? Okay. Like, so, oh, it's a gar gar oh, it says Garmin on it, so that'll be for it. Yeah. Um, but it does fit, it'd probably do the job. Oh, I remember this last time. <laughs> that's why I don't sell them with the remotes because I haven't got Oh, is it? Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Pokemon game in it as well. Oh I keep her playing it, yeah. Yeah. We find some more because we sell the intuity, just a pound each, mate, or um, pound each or three for a quid. How's that? How's that deal? Three for a quid. <laughs> so if you want to buy one you still have to pay me a quid. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. How did I not see that? Was that in there the whole time? Oh, look, that's just the replace, that's just from the top of the. So I'm going to get that because <laughs> they're always missing. Um, not unless it's particularly nice. Oh no, so the moon baby thing. Moon baby? What's that? 
Oh, that. Sorry to interrupt, editing Mike here. That bag in my right hand, there's something in that bag which turns out to be really good later on in the video. Yeah, I'm not sure it's in all of them, so I'm just gonna do a tenner for that bag and a fiver for that bag. Right. And they can take the pick of what's in them or what's working on that. I'm almost certain, I keep looking back on the footage, I'm almost certain it's the black item in there you might be able to see I picked this up later on in the video. It's just on the table. It's out of the bag. Somebody must have opened the bag, maybe taken a few bits out, and it's on the table, and I end up buying it later on. So stick around for that. You'll see that in just a second. It's a very good item, possibly the best item of the day. Look at this stuff. We want a ten for that, five for that. I'm not really that bothered about that one. Um, so it's a five for that one. Yeah. And then... The game, spell, uh, ten pounds. Ten pounds, yeah. Um, how much do you weigh? The we it's fibre yeah. for the week. Got two joy pods on it, and there will be attachments for it. I can dig them out for you, but it's in a bag with yeah. about five wee charges in it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do it, please. Um, what? Oh. All right. <laughs> Do you want to take some of this? Is it a tennis worth you having? Yeah. Um, and the Wii. And the Wii, so. Yeah, so five back, please. Have you have you sold this, sorry? Has somebody bought this? So. You bought the other one, but this one's yeah. not got the clip on it. Yeah. We were just after the battery. Like, That's if, different if, to ours, though, that, isn't that, it? Is it? Yeah, it's bigger than ours. Oh, uh, our battery's given up, both of them. What do you need for this? Wires and stuff. Yeah. Dyson or G Tech yours? Dyson. Dyson. V V six or V eight? V six. Yeah. No worries. Oh, thank you. I'll come back for the charges and that if, if you find them. I, will find um, them. I think like should there should be like a sensor bar as well, like a grey yeah, sensor bar, bar and yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll keep we'll keep going around and yeah, no cheers, right? How much is your PS2, please? PS2? Uh, what's the phone 20, right, okay. If you send anything else, yeah, I'm going I don't think we're going to be able to beat the first guy. <laughs> said so much stuff, didn't he? Oh, God, those mugs. The Tower of Mugs. <laughs> This way, this way. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hi mate, you okay? What are you doing? Did you get here early or? Um, about 20 minutes ago. Like 
I love some of these signs. Fresh squeezed lemon. Oh, they haven't you signed? Right. American. The game. Cities. We've already got lots of stuff like that, haven't we? Aww. Have we? I don't know. You know better than me. What do you think? Do we not already? Do we not already have things just like this? Um, yeah. Yeah. I built some pretty cool towns with that book. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You should see what you should see some of the stuff that he's, he's, he's made. So then he'll, he'll go and build it out of Lego, and then, and then he'll go back and vice, oh, vice versa. Yeah. I collect all the Harry Potter Lego bits. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got the Home Alone set for Christmas a few years ago, didn't we? Yeah. Home that Alone that now. was the the best set I've ever done. I think Home Alone. Like if you're into the film, if you've seen the film, yeah. there's so many like Easter eggs in there. It's. <laughs> it was really good. I don't, yeah. I don't think they could make anything that would beat that. I don't know. We've got but the they, they might surprise. That we've not made yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's as good though. It's just an office, isn't it? You're just building an office. That's quite cool, isn't it? Look at that. Daddy. Daddy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> There we go. Tell me if that is Minecraft or not. Should have got cinema. Yeah, it's that as like a shower and a bit of water. Yeah, no. It looks like Sim City or something, doesn't it? That City Skyline. What's that? Is that like a storage case or something? Just 20p for either one of the cases. That like for cars. Stuff that you just accumulate. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> Do you know, I, th I think, unfortunately, I, I hate to admit it, but I think they've they passed it now. <laughs> it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. All the trains and stuff we've got, and they just they don't bother with them anymore. Pass that stage. Yeah. I'll get those two cases, please. Yeah, Brilliant. Thank you. Great, thank you. He's got a box for the wheel as well. Has he? Oh, I'll be having that. I that might be my, my bits that he's saved for me. The bits for you? Brilliant. All right. When are you coming back, I was going to say to you, I've got my box. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Thank you. If you want to look at that and see what the difference is. Yeah. Oh, excellent. You got it all. Oh, is this, oh, is this, uh, is this a, a, a full set up? Sorry. Shall I have a look? Yeah, you have a look back. I'll put all these in here so you've got all oh, your... Oh, cheers. 
Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> How much for this one? That one's going to sell that one for a tenner. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, is that tech deck? Well, it says circuit board to Tony Hawk. Oh. I don't know. Probably like the weekends over here. No, he's probably sold, haven't they? Oh, it's like a. It's something else, isn't it? It's a similar kind of thing, but yeah. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. Right. Got batteries in it and stuff. The thing is, what if they've got stuff in it and you don't know what you don't know what it is, do you? And we're not going to be able to find out, are we? It's another dictaphone. Olympus, digital one. So this is the item that I mentioned before. It was in a bag full of jewellery and stuff earlier on in the video. I picked it up. Didn't really want to mess with all the jewellery and stuff. Couldn't really tell what the black this item was. But here it is, and it turns out to be a good one. Wait till the end of the video to see how much it is worth. Sorry. 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 I've got the camera for it. All right. <laughs> in fact, we've got oh. three. So, so do I, actually. I've, yeah. I've wrapped them up in bloody cling film to keep them. Yeah. I'll give you the price for them. The first camera I ever bought was like that. I took these it's tapes. Quite quite so. the, them cameras. Did. They, nowadays, they don't want to give you nothing for them. Yeah, I spent about... 500 quid of mine, it was from where a comet used to be yeah, down yeah, there yeah, where yeah. the old BQ was and now whatever it is, I'll be. Yeah, um, yeah spent, saved up my money, bought one. Still have it. Oh, look. I actually got the camera in here, look. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> How much is your camera? Camera and all of this one, I'm for that one. It should have everything yeah. with it. I tried to keep it separate to all the rest of the stuff. Yeah. So it should all be for that, unless the kids have put extras in here. Um, how much are that? You can have those two for a fiver. Let's see what else. I'll, I'll probably take that. I'll, I'll just put them in if that's right. So yeah, we're up yeah, to 15, yeah. aren't we? And I'll keep going. Okay, I'm looking for a grey one, but I know I have charges. Is it a Dyson or is it G10? It's a G10. Yeah. 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 yeah, 15 for it all, what do you think? We're nearly done. Are you okay? We're going to the playground in a minute. Hot cow. And ice cream. And ice cream. Ice cream. Robert Edge is Mr. Softy Top. On the streets of Bolton, where he's been dispensing ice cream for most of his life, he is known as Softy. Right, we were up to 15, and then I've got that. 20? 20. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. 
Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate that. See you later. Bye. Nearly as expensive. Was it? Mm, how much? Oh my God! Really? It's not only the recession in ice cream sales that's causing problems for Softy. It's also the recent appearance of a rival ice cream man who calls himself Senor Whippy. A brain freeze. <laughs> Yeah, so check it out. Considering how small it is, as you can see, that is it. We have done well there. Got a couple of Wii's, including one that is boxed. We've got loads of toys, got lots of stuff. We'll go through it all at the end. Got a big bag full of like random bits of like pins and jewelry and stuff to go through. There was a fiver. Yeah, we'll take a good look at it in just a minute. So it's a little bit later now and I'm back home. We're gonna have a look at this stuff in just a second. There's some good stuff amongst this. I think I spent about 50 quid on the lot and I have, yeah, just stick around a few minutes and we will go through it. But before that, I just wanna pass you over to myself a few days ago for an important announcement. Yeah, just bear with me. I'll be back with you in just a second. Hi and welcome this one is a bit difficult to record right now because I'm just about to go and hand in my notice at my regular nine to five job. And I'm yeah, trying not to like hyperventilate here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna say too much now. I'll speak about this at a later date, but yes, I'm gonna be going from part-time to full-time reseller as of, I don't know, whatever notice period they want me to work. So maybe two weeks, maybe four weeks. My contract has changed a couple of times in the last year. So I'm not really sure exactly how much time I'm expected to work. If anything, I could very well go in and say, here's my notice, I'm going. And they could just turn around and say, right, there's the door, goodbye then. It could be like that. I don't think it will be, but it could be. Um, so yeah, I'm... Um, don't know what to say, it's uh, a long time coming. There's many reasons for doing this. It's not just like one reason or anything in particular really that has happened at work. Although there's you know, there's a few things that have happened, which I will go into at, at a later date, but I just wanted to kind of record this moment of, you know, cause I'm the reselling right now it doesn't pay enough for me to, you know, to pay all my bills. I've got a young family. It doesn't cover everything doing it part-time, but obviously I'm doing it part-time. I'm still working most of my time at my regular job. So I don't have the time to put in to it what I really want to put into it. And that is why I am doing this. And to say there's many factors, but yeah, this has been a long time coming and we are finally there. I've written my res resignation and uh, yes, I feel mixed because I've been there for like 14 years. So it's a long time. It's, you know, majority of my adult working life has been at this company, the same company. So it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's taken a lot of thought. It's not something I've just kind of jumped into. I've been thinking about it for a long time. And yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to leave it there, but I will update again shortly. Maybe later on today, once I get back. Or if I am basically shown the door immediately in a very short while. So let's see. I will see you guys in a minute. So, yes, it is later on now, and I did it. I handed in my notice at my full-time job. I can't exactly remember what I said this morning, so 
forgive me if I repeat myself here. But yeah, I did it. I handed it in early afternoon. I kind of, yeah, it was all right. It was okay. Um, I think she was a little bit taken by surprise, but she was okay. So I actually, I explained to her about my business and what I plan on doing. And it's going to be me and it's going to be my partner, Claire. Uh, she, you know, she doesn't want to kind of do the YouTube thing, which I totally get. But we're both together going to be, you know, going forward full time with reselling. We both have our own kind of stuff that we do. And we're both together have made this business what it is and grown it. And she's definitely up for doing it with me together as a couple going forward spending you know lots of time doing it so i've been talking about this all day to everybody at work so i just feel that now is the right time a couple you know things have happened over the last couple of years and it's kind of made me reevaluate everything i've seen a lot of resellers out there who have made it work going like from part-time to full-time and i've seen a lot of resellers out there who have not made it work and there's various reasons for that sometimes people just get sick of doing it sometimes you just don't live in the right area to resell and i hear it all the time people say to me you know there's just no charity shops around me or like the nearest boot sells like three hours away that kind of thing and i get it at some places you, it's just not going to work some places it will and i'm sure there's a lot of places out there that work would work better than where i live so yeah, all in all, I think it went about as well as, you know, resigning from a job can go. Do you know what I mean? It's always a bit of a funny one, but I don't want to, you know, lose touch with the people there. And I am going to pop in now and again and say hello to them. Um, you know, I've been there for a long time. People always say that, oh, you know, I'll pop in now and again. And most people don't really mean it and they never really show up again, but... It's different for me. I, I get on with most of the people there. I've been there for 16 years. I thought it was 14, but somebody said, no, no, it's 16. So, yeah, 16 years. That's like most of my adult working life has been spent at this one place of work. So it's a big, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. And I do not take it lightly. Uh, right now, I feel very positive about everything. I'm still working there. I'm working at least two weeks notice. I said I will do four weeks for them if they want. If they're going to replace me with somebody else, I don't mind doing an extra couple of weeks to train up that person. But other than that, two weeks from now, I will be a free man. A free man. I think my uh, sister put it like that, but that's not quite the case, is it? I'm not I won't be a free man. I may not be working at a regular kind of job, but I am not a free man. And, you know, there's a lot of work involved in reselling. And, yeah, it can take over your life a bit if you're not careful. And I want to get back a bit of work-life balance. I'm thinking, like, up early like I always am anyway, work until I pick the kids up, and then stop work and have a very definitive line there where once we pick the kids up we do not do any work we spend time with the kids because that that's part of it as well it so I, i've been working five days a week and i've dropped down dropped down to four days a week then i dropped down to three days a week in my regular job and you'd think yeah great that's great you got all that extra time to spend on reselling and yeah but it still just wasn't quite enough and I found myself working at times where I should have really been spending it with my kids and I just everything is a bit all over the place right now and it has been for a while and it's really kind of affecting me mentally there's a lot going on in my head there's a lot going on in my life and there has been over the last couple of years and I just want to kind of find a balance that is right I think that's what I'm kind of trying to say I'm sure a lot of people out there can relate to this and that's what I'm looking for and hopefully we can find that in the next few months but I'm, I'm looking forward to this journey and I hope you're looking forward to this what will be a, a new chapter for this channel for myself for my family and I'm excited it, it's going to be good it's going to be good I've got a lot of stuff planned which I've just never had time to do 
because I just, you know, working a, a full-time job, all right, three days a week, whatever you want to call it, working, you know, a structured job where you're working all that time, you know, you don't really have time. I never have time to kind of do the things I want to do, the types of video I want to do and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't want to... We will see as time goes on. Uh, I want to hit a lot of boot sales this year, a lot of different boot sales. So I'm going to do the classic ones that are local to me, but I'm also going to be going much further afield and maybe doing a bit of a kind of road trippy kind of thing. I might reserve that for charity shops, or I might do a mix of charity shops and boot sales. I kind of mix it up a bit. We will see. So yeah, massive, massive change it's going to be. And more on that at a later date. I'm not going to go more into it right now. But I will, uh, yeah, I'll go into a little bit more details on a few things as we go on. But right now, let's have a look at this stuff. Let's see how much money we can make reselling it for profit on eBay. So that's everything. Where should we start? I think we'll start over here with these cuddly toys. So we got four here and I paid a pound for one and then I paid a pound for the other three. I don't really know. The prices are kind of a little bit all over the place with the guy I bought from. He just wanted it all kind of gone. And for the vast majority of stuff, in fact, I think almost everything, I didn't haggle at all, which is very unlike me, but these prices were just so good. I was just like, yeah, I yeah, cannot argue with that. I wish, I wish that it was always like that. But yeah, I was just like, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So these guys here are from Zootopia or Zootopolis, depending on where you are in the world. It was called something different. But those two are from that. He's from Inside Out and he's from Plains. And one of them was worth a little bit more than the others. I think this one was worth maybe 12 to 15 and then like 10, 8 and 8, something like that. So £2 into whatever that is, at least £30 plus postage on the lot. And then we've got this Harry Potter Funko Pop there. That's not worth a lot, about a fiver. And these two are Schleich, these two elephants. And these are from the Twirly Woo's Big Red Boat. And these are often missing, so I figured I would get these in case I ever come across a Big Red Boat. Or these parts will sell by themselves. And then up here are a couple of PlayStation four controllers it's hard to say exactly what i paid individually for all this stuff because i got lots of like kind of little bundles of stuff so i'm going to tell you what i can fully remember but there will be a, a few the, the, well there are a few things here that i'm not sure on um, but i'm going to go back through my video because i recorded the whole thing and i'm going to put on the screen at the end exactly how much money i actually spent on everything and then we'll get a clear idea of how much money we should make reselling it on ebay but these two controllers, I and mean, I know I think one of them was like £2.50, the other one I, I can't remember. I picked them up separately, and yeah, as long as they're working, but even if they're not working, they will do okay. This Sony Handycam here is not the best one in the world. I picked a Sony video camera up a few weeks back, and that one was far better than this. But even so, I paid... 10 for this and all its accessories which is a really good price just these sealed tapes bring my money back so if you look at it like that even if i have to sell this as parts because there's no charger for the battery unfortunately so i don't know if i'm going to bother trying to get the charger i'll see if i've got one obviously but if not i will just sell it for parts i think get the money back on the tapes sell it for parts i think there's a few other accessories as well over here but there's no like camera bag and there's nothing kind of major in there. There is a charger, but it's for the wrong thing. So the charger for the other thing, I think it's a JVC charger. It looks like a video camera charger from a JVC that's been put with this. Uh, doesn't fit it, but it might have a little bit of money to it. We will see. But either way, like if this is in good condition and working, if I can get it charged and, and working, 50, 60 quid. If not parts 20 quid probably something like that over here is a wwe belt i've sold these before quite a few times not sure on this particular one how much it's worth but oh it didn't pay a lot for it again it was kind of bundled in with other stuff so maybe 50p a pound at the most very most on that here are some binoculars i got these for us 
Well, I kind of bought them and I thought, well, if they're worth a good a lot of money, then I will probably sell them, but they're not. It's that brand, Tasco, and I think they're only worth about eight to 10 quid. So I think I will probably keep them. Uh, behind this, we've got a couple of just little cases. They were only 20p each, or I wouldn't have bothered. I don't know if they're lunch boxes or they're just like toy cases. I suppose you could use them as for whatever you wanted to use them for. There won't be much money in them, but when they're only so cheap and in really good condition, I figured, why not? I'll give them a go. And we've got two Wii consoles. We've got this one here that is a box, and we've got this one here, which is not, but it does have all its bits. He actually didn't have them all at the time of me buying it, but I went back and he had found them all. So I've got loads of bits here. So I've got another Wii Power uh, supply as well. And a Nintendo Switch power supply, I think that is, or it might be like a, for a DS i or DS or something. Not really sure, but the, I picked a load of kind of chargers and bits and pieces up, as well as what he gave me, and bundled that in with a load of other stuff. So, yeah, these kind of have a bit of a sort through all that. But we've got more than enough cables for both consoles. I was hoping there might have been some like Easter eggy bits in there, like a rare controller or a rare game or something like that. But, but there isn't anything like that in, in there. But I'm going to plug them both in in a minute and see if there's a game inside. So hopefully that we will find a game in one of these consoles. And this game here is not worth a lot, five or six quid, but it's Wii U and it's a Lego game. I figured I would give it a go. It's one of the first things I picked up from his store. Again, I kind of got a load of stuff all together. I was just picking stuff up and then saying how much for it. And he was giving me a price and then I was you know, paying him for that. And then I was going on to the next one. You could say, well, I maybe should have just like got loads and loads of stuff and then got a price for it all. But it was getting a little bit kind of complicated and it was really busy. It was starting to get really, really busy. And it was easier to just kind of do it like that. Uh, this right here is cool. I think this is the actual first thing I picked up from his stall. I saw it and I was like, yes, please, I will have that. It's a Tiger game. It's Lost World, unfortunately, not like the first film. Otherwise, it might have been worth a little bit more if they even made these of the first film. I don't know. But, in fact, they did make these of the first film because I used to have one. I've just remembered um, yeah, I had one of the first film. It's like a red colour, I believe. But, yeah, this is pretty rare. If it's working, which I am not sure, I've just actually put some batteries in and it is not doesn't seem to be turning on but there there's some corrosion in the battery compartment so hopefully with a clean up it's nothing terrible hopefully with a clean up i can get it running if so there's only one other person selling this out there out of italy for about 21 pounds plus postage so i'll be the only person in the uk with it potentially if you know if it were I mean, if it doesn't work it will still sell anyway at least a tenner i would say just for parts just because it looks cool it'll be a cool collectible on somebody's shelf and then we've got this psp do you know what? i don't think i've ever picked up a psp to resell before that's kind of crazy isn't it i picked up lots and lots of other consoles and video games and stuff but i don't think i've ever picked up a psp Anyway, he went searching for the charger for this and we thought that we had found it, but it turns out it's not the correct charger. It was actually the USB cable. And uh, with never having a PSP before, I thought it was co the correct thing, but it's not. It's one of these DC uh, 5 volt chargers on these, which I do not have. So I will need to buy one. I've had a quick look and you can get a third party one for about seven quid free delivery. So that's probably what I'll do on that. I'm sure it will come hand in handy in the future. Next is this, and this surprised me. It's a brand called Bilora, and it's just a really nice quality tripod. That's the model number there, Billaret 1017, and these go for good money, like 20, 30. Some people have got more than that for them. For something that I just thought, yeah, you know, probably not going to be worth much that surprised very surprised like probably worth close to the value of the actual camera that it was in with i got this apple mouse as well which claire's just tested out and it is working perfectly fine they only go for about kind of 12 to 14 pounds thereabouts plus postage in this kind of really good condition 
but again kind of threw this in with a load of other stuff so owes me certainly less than a pound and over here we've got a load of like costume jewelry but there's also a load of pins and stuff now it's the pins that interested me pins and the buttons I saw them, he said it was a fiver for the bag, and I thought, yeah, that, that will be good. We'll, we'll give that a go. There's some good bits amongst all this. First off, though, check this out. Old Vicks Vapor Rub, little tin. And, yes, it does have Vicks still in it. Yeah. And, yes, it does still smell like menthol. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do with that. I think I will probably empty out the contents and just sell the little tub, little tin by itself. I don't know what, what this was in with. I don't think it was in with this jewellery. I do not know. It was in with something, though, that I bought today. And I did not know it was there until I got home. But yeah, a lot of this stuff here that is not that I've not put in bags is not really worth much. You've got a few kind of random pins that, you know, stick them all together in a little lot. Might be okay. This is a quite quite a good one. I wouldn't have known anything about this, but my partner says that this has made a bit of a comeback. A juicy Couture. And yeah, I have literally never heard of this at all. Um, but 20 to 25, she reckons, on this, maybe. Which is like, what? Really, really, like, if, if she hadn't seen this, this is the kind of thing that I might have just, like, I don't know. I probably wouldn't have chucked it away, but I might have bundled it up with a load of other random stuff like this. Knife. I mean, that could be silver, right? But there's no hallmark on it or anything, so who knows? This right here is from the Henley Regatta of 1986. Now, some of these are worth good money, but generally the older ones... 1986, probably not going to be a huge amount in it, but there'll be a little bit. I don't think this particular year was out there that I could see. These are quite interesting. I don't know if there's much money in them, but the Big Brum International Motorcycle Show, there's a couple of them in there, 82 and 81. And there's a few other bits like this, Circus Pin, and kind of a few other random bits a few other pins and stuff but i think this is probably going to be the best bag right here with some old like railway buttons and pins and some of this stuff can go for good money i saw somebody selling three buttons quite similar to these for 50 quid somebody had managed to sell three of them so we will see i need to look further into these but we might have a bit of a hidden gem amongst these fingers crossed but if all else fails you know there's some nice looking ones in here like look at this train that's quite a cool looking one and over here we've got a couple of cameras and these two are pretty good especially this one i think this goes for about 45 50 quid if it's working i think this one i'll get out now i think this one was worth about 25 to 30. it's a olympus uh, Comedia D390 and then this one is a Canon Sure Shot 115U I think I've had one of these before at some point I'm sure I have but yeah not too bad at all there if they're working but even if they're not working they'll probably still sell for parts and then here we've got a couple of Olympus dictaphones this is a VN 600 PC Still brand new in its packaging. Only one out there that's new in exactly the same condition as this. Same colour and everything. They're asking £35 plus postage. So I will probably match their price on that. But the kind of surprise item here has got to be this. And I've tested it. And it is working. And I, you know, I know that some of these can be good. But... I would not have thought this good. This one here, Olympus DS2500. Some people are getting crazy money on these. You can get like over 100 quid if you've got a few accessories with these. I will probably be looking at more like kind of 80 pounds 
somewhere around that just because the condition is so good as i say i fully tested it and it's fully working it's got a memory card with it as well and its little case yeah surprise item right there i've never found dictaphone before that's worth quite that much i've had a couple of decent ish ones like 40 50 quid before never one that's this much and this was just like i I'm trying to remember this was just kind of on the table I think with a load of these cameras and the binoculars and stuff so yeah not a bad lot of stuff right there not bad for the first boot sale of the season I am definitely more than happy and guess what not one ceramic item in sight now that's not on purpose there just wasn't any there's a tea coffee sugar set that I nearly bought but I didn't that was kind of it. I wasn't seeing any other ceramics or anything there. Nothing worth picking up. So don't think I'm not, you know, taking a step away from the ceramics because I'm not. I still love my ceramics, but there just wasn't anything today. So I'll put on the screen right now how much money roughly we're going to be making reselling this stuff for a profit on eBay. It's definitely going to be a bit of an estimate because there's a lot of kind of unknowns here. Like the camera, is it going to work? These cameras, are they going to work? The Wii's, are they going to work? Do you know what I mean? This stuff here is kind of very randomly hit and miss i think a lot of it so we will see but i'm gonna do it roughly and i'm gonna put it as a low end estimate like i usually do so i think we can make at least what it says here but possibly quite a bit more so to end out the video let's have a quick look at these consoles and see if there's any discs inside i'm not going to hook them up to a tv and test them right now but let's just see if there's any discs inside one sec Okay, so first console, this is the loose one that I got. Let's see, is there gonna be a game in here? Let's have a look. That sounds like it's trying to read some it, so I think there's one in there. There is definitely a game in there. Why is it not coming out? Do we have an issue with the eject button? I think we do. I only paid a fiver for it. So it's not the end of the world, but kind of annoying. And I really want to know what that disc is. Right, let's try the second one. Hey. Oh. Sports party, I don't think that's a good one. But at least we've got a disc, right? At least we've got something. Yeah, so with this one, I say I think I paid about 50 quid. I'll put it on the screen now, exactly how much I paid, if I've not already done so. I think it's about 50 quid. And, you know, I'm trying to pick something here that's worth that. This, the good dictaphone, is definitely gonna be worth at least that. So all the money back with just that, everything else is profit. So I'll leave this one there, I hope you enjoyed it. First boot sale of 2023. There'll be lots more to come on this channel over the next few months, lots and lots. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed anything about the video, hit the like button, it really helps me out. If you do that, it'd be much appreciated. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.